Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at how to set up the IDE on Windows. It's simply that's all we're going to be covering in this series. Subsequent tutorials will cover setting up a project so it runs on a certain platform. First of all, what you're going to need to do is download a few files. So let's just show you what you need to download. You don't need to make a note of these from the video. All the links will be in the description so it's cool. First of all, let's go to your Cocos 2D dash x dot or you want to go to download there's three things you want to download from here potentially you want to download the cocos code id you definitely want that one because otherwise you're in the wrong <laughs> wrong tutorial uh, if you want to develop for javascript then you want to download cocos 2 djs version 3.0 or 3.1 either one is fine so I'll just download the latest one and then if you want to develop for lua you want to download cocos 2 dx i would just recommend a stable release unless you really really want like the dose release candidate that'll be relatively stable. I mean, it's like a final release, like 3.2. You need 3.2 or newer, I believe. So just download that one if you want newer, and this if you want JavaScript. Again, all the links will be in the description. I've already got these downloaded, so I won't be downloading them. As you're on Windows, you're going to want to download Python as well, so python.org. One thing to bear in mind from here. If you don't want to download version 3, you want to download version 2. Cocos 2DX does not work with version 3, so version 2 it is. The next thing you want to download is Android SDK. You just want to download the Eclipse ADT, that we won't be using Eclipse. The Android SDK is within this. And the next thing you're going to want is Android NDK. A little thing to note, if you go on to... Yeah. <laughs> if you go into the Android NDK website, as we need R9D, because that's what covers 2D, uh, X and covers 2D JS support, you won't be able to get it from their website. They only have the latest one, but you can still get the download link. There's a website. There'll be other websites as well, but the one I know of is this one. There'll be a link in the description, so again, you don't need to try and memorize this. It is here. It has all the download links, and, the, and these are actually official download links. So if I just copy the link address, and paste it. I see it's an official Google link, so it's not like something unofficial from a torrent. So it's downloading from someone. It's the official link, which is no longer available on the their Android NDK page. And the last thing you're gonna want is Apache Ant. So you go to binary distributions, zip archive. That's the one you want to download right there. <coughs> And once you've got all them downloaded, you're all good to go. So what we're going to do is show you what you need to do next. What you want to do is install Cocos Code ID, the downloaded file, which I've just installed right here. The installation process is simple. If you've installed anything else on Windows before, you will be familiar with what you have to do. Make sure you have extracted all the downloaded files, which I've already done, so it takes a little while. I've put them in a development directory. Recommend to put them somewhere so they're organized and somewhere that you won't really be moving them. Though you can update the uh, paths after, it's just a little annoying to do so. Also make sure you've installed Python as well. Again, this is just relatively simple. Just install it and you should be all good to go. So I've got everything extracted right here. Now what we're going to do is open up our IDE and set it up. Okay, what that didn't show up is it, it's a little weird, you can't see it properly. Um, but what it didn't show up was the little box that says choose your workspace. You just need to click OK and you'll be all good to go because I've already selected my workspace. But you can also switch workspaces from here as well. So to set it up, what you want to do is go to Window, Preferences, click Cocos. And then for the Python, it should automatically pick up the Python location once it's installed. For the JDK location, it should pick up the Cocos code ID, JDK forward slash bin, and you should be all good to go. If not, just click the drop down and select it. And then for the SDK, SDK location, click Browse. You want to go to wherever you place these files. Development. Android ADT SDK, click OK for the NDK. 
the same process just go to where we downloaded and extracted your NDK obviously just make sure you select the folder with all these other folders inside and you want to finally just get the Apache Ant so you go to Apache Ant Where's the bin? There's, you want to go to the a bin folder right here, not the Apache and the bin folder. Click OK, click apply. We are almost done. Now what we're going to do is add the JavaScript and the Lua stuff. So if you only want JavaScript, then just follow the JavaScript step. If you only want Lua, then follow Lua. If you want both, then follow both. So click the drop down, click custom. Again, just go to where you extracted Focus 2DJS. Got it right here. And make sure you select the folder we build docs, frameworks, etc. Click OK, click apply, go to Lua, do the same for Lua. So you want, instead of JS, you want Cocos 2DX. Unfortunately, Cocos, I mean Cocos Code IDE doesn't support C, and the developers have said they don't really plan on implementing full C support, but I'm hoping in the future they will. They've actually got a big announcement that they said coming very soon. I'm hoping it's that, maybe something better. So, yeah, just select this folder with all the other folders like build, cocos, docs, etc. Click apply, click OK, and to confirm, let's just open it up again and make sure everything has saved. So, Lua is there, JavaScript is there. And everything else is there as well. So we now have Cocos Code IDE all set up on Windows for JavaScript and Lua. The next tutorial will cover generating a project. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links that we've discussed will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.